Carol, uh, some are seeing this set of reforms, if you want to call it that, being about as useful as a, a uh, motorcycle ashtray. I would say, like, you know, what has been addressed in the policy address yesterday, uh, some of the measures they're going to Im implement is going to really help. When you think about it, like, you know, the loss of talent over the last 18 months, right? A lot of them would be, I would say, is uh, very young uh, talents, like, you know, maybe fresh graduates or those who have very limited working experience. The measures about, like, uh, get granting two-year visa, right, to graduates from top 100 universities, that would definitely help. And I think there are some measures is around um, tech talents as well, like you know, extending visa to tech talents. Uh, this is the sector that has been severely hit, uh, like those who are in cybersecurity, those who are developers, uh, risk analytics. Um, so those people have left Hong Kong as well, and it's very easy for them to secure a job overseas because it's all hard technical skills, right? So I think those measures would definitely help with the talent market. You, you, how would you describe you know the, the job market now? I mean, you said you, it's been pretty busy for you. Yeah, extremely. Because there just hasn't been yeah. the people here to fill those yeah, spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has that seen? Have you seen any signs of that changing? Definitely. I would say uh, we've got very busy since beginning of last year. Uh, and then I would say to maybe mid this year. But with the concern of global recession, because of, you know, in, uh, inflation rate, everything, etc., we have seen business start being a bit prudent, uh, headcount start being on hold. Mm. Uh, so I would say a lot of our clients and business is just now wait and see in terms of headcount now. So they are planning for next year in terms of budget, in terms of hackathon planning, uh, we have seen quite a big change since uh, mid of this year. Mm. But what are you seeing in terms of people wanting to come to Hong Kong? That's mm -hmm. the thing because it's you know it's just like any brand development. Mm -hmm. It takes years to build a brand, and it mm -hmm. takes seconds to destroy yeah. it. Yeah, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. And uh, it has an issue with mm -hmm. Hong Kong as a brand, uh, mm -hmm. don't we? So yeah. there should more effort be put in time to revive it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you know, you have these uh, this financial conference coming up. Yeah, the yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. that's not enough to do the job, is it? We do see uh, overseas candidates. Uh, they will still like come to us and see if there is any job opportunity in Hong Kong but I would say there's always two sides of the equations uh, while we do do see foreign talents including China they do want to come to Hong Kong uh, but when we look at when clients come to hiring, they will also ask, like, do, did they ever have like Hong Kong experience or Asia working experience at the list? Or they will be asking, do they really understand business in China? Can they speak Mandarin? Can they write Chinese? So like, we do need talents, but we are also being very selective at the same time. Mm. How, how would you think this visa program stacks up to, to Singapore's, which we saw a few? It's actually interesting. Uh, when you mentioned about the 2.5 million, um, like the the, the the, the annual income yeah. thing. I think Singapore has a very similar one. Is uh, yeah. monthly income is thirty thousand sing, right? Yeah. Um, I'm sure both governments launch similar policy with a reason. But how I personally look at it is, um, those high income group, if um, if businesses want to recruit them, I'm sure they can also get them a work visa anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think the visa issue was an issue, right? It's, it's, right. Yeah. Like, it's not yeah. the visa. They yeah. can definitely yeah. get a visa for them. But, but I'm, if both governments doing something so similar, I'm sure that's a reason behind. But if you ask me, er. <laughs> and, and the stamp duty, uh, seven years. You don't get any interest on it, but you know you get that stamp duty back and say that's not surely going to move the dial, is it? I think maybe for to retain talent, uh, maybe for those who may be close to become a PR, maybe it's, it would be helpful to to retain talent. Yeah. But for those uh, middle class, like middle ex, middle class expatriates, what it will help a lot. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what does this mean for pay, for bonuses this year? I mean, um, no one is expecting a big bonus this year at all. Like, mm. you know, I think financial performance for most businesses has not been as good compared yeah. to last year. Uh, as I've mentioned, uh, businesses are very prudent yeah. um, in terms of how business is going to perform next year. And most importantly, a lot of talents are actually being hired at a high price over the last 18 months. And I think um, employers are looking at the return of those talents. And Instead of being so available to handle a big cash bonus to them. Mm. 
what I mean, there is a massive pool of labour. It's just north of Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how many, you know, mainlanders are being actually driven mm -hmm. to come here now yeah. as well? I mean, is that if you're not looking internationally, are people looking at the mainland? Um, yes, and we do... But there do, are problems there associated with that well, too. We do yeah. see a lot of candidates uh, from China interested to come to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. I think um, if they're in tech sectors, we where there's a global shortage, which I wouldn't say Hong Kong has a lot of tech talents at all, um, I think they stand a chance. And it would be more like fintech startup or Chinese company would hire those talents. I would say for MNC, uh, the language skills is still relatively important. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the finance field, what what jobs are still wide open right now and you're just not getting the candidates for? I would say tech, like tech. Uh, like developers, data scientists, those kind of jobs. Uh, we don't have a lot of talents in Hong Kong at all. So, I mean, where do we go from here? Do we see... I've actually met some, quite a few people, I mean five, <laughs> <laughs> who've actually recently moved here. And I was yeah. talking to a tennis coach who said he's got loads of new customers and they've not resident before. I mm -hmm. mean, so are we seeing people coming oh, here now? I, I do see some, but I, do, I don't see a lot for now. Mm. Yeah, it takes time. Like the zero plus free policy has just been introduced. Um, so we will see like, you know, the schemes uh, mentioned in the policy address yesterday, how it will go. Yeah. But I, I would say um, what we are seeing now is kind of temporary. I would mm. say it will mm. we will catch up.